All right, I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of betting on the forecast here because we do have rain and some th thunderstorm activity all across the forecast over the next several days here. Because let's talk about it right now because we do have a pretty much interesting forecast looking at the uh, map right now. Satellite and radar showing that we do have this train of thunderstorm activity beginning to move through the area. Just some isolated showers back over towards the east is what we're going to be begin to talk about right now. Trumbull County getting some moderate to heavy rainfall right now, even about 20 to 30 miles west of there. You can see over towards and also Portage County. Hudson, a little bit of rain shower for you along 480, even 80 right now. Shalersville, Garrettsville also picking up a little bit of light. to also moderate rainfall. Back towards Lorain County, even getting down towards the Medina County region. Chippewa Lake, you got a little bit of a sail moving in across you as well. This has sort of been following right along that line of that stationary boundary that really has not moved over the past several hours here. Some of the rainfall accumulation rates along and also northeast Lake County, Ashtabula County, just around an inch or so back towards uh, west there. You can see near Wellington, just over two inches for you, Norwalk, and even Sandusky around an inch to inch and a half for you. Again, this is still that same system that is just crawling through the Midwest right now. This is the area low. A descending cold front is what brought this frontal boundary down, and then it just stalled, and it's likely going to stay stalled at least through the rest of the evening here. Once we get into Thursday afternoon, into the evening hours that descent will likely happen and then that's what's going to likely push in even more thunderstorms across the region. So taking a look at today with that stationary boundary over us, we really did not see a whole lot of rise in our temperatures going back to midnight until this afternoon 2 3 p.m. when we start to get some pops getting a little bit more sunshine in. That's when our temperatures finally climbed out of the low 70s and moved into the mid to upper 70s across the area. Even some areas now in the low 80s, 81 degrees you can see there for Medina, Akron. Looks like you're coming in nearly 90 degrees. You're hot down there as well. 83 degrees at Ravenna, low 70s along the lakeside area. Rain chances up and down we go. It's like a pogo stick once we get into the weekend here. Even next week, we start out with even more rainfall around 60 to 70%. For the rest of the night, we're going to have a hit and miss shower activity because of this stationary boundary. I'm saying stationary because it's not really going to move all that much. It's just going to train in some isolated showers and perhaps even some rumbles. But I think the heaviest rumbles will likely be along the lakeside regions overnight. Here's your National Design Mart forecast as we carry through the overnight hours. You can see there even some more potent storms move through between the Sandusky region, flirting right across Cuyahoga County over towards Ashtabula. That energy will likely stay up there, but we're going to get another model run that's going to come out in the next hour. So we're really going to fine tune that. Tomorrow we start out with some mainly cloudy skies. We get some peaks of sun in the afternoon. Then the cold front moves through here and we could see even more pops of thunderstorm activity into tomorrow evening. Now's the Union Home Mortgage 7 day outlook. Take a look at this. Once we close out the work week here, we go into the weekend in the mid to upper 80s. Scattered rain and rumbles on Saturday. Pop ups likely on Sunday. I think we'll have a mix of sun and clouds on Monday with an isolated thunderstorm chance. And then we'll likely be a little bit more cooler once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But all in all, guys, it is still near the average in the mid to low 80s. All right, Chase, thanks so much. We appreciate it.